Good afternoon. Uh, my name is Lucy Ochaki. I'm with West Hartford Continuing Education, and this is Tours by Lucy. And this is the next episode of my fantastic show where I share information with you about trips that we have coming up with the West Hartford Public School Continuing Ed Program. Uh, those of you who have watched this have seen me share great information about uh, trips that are coming up with the program. And I've been a trip coordinator with the program for 21 years, and we've had a fantastic program that has grown. And I have grown personally and professionally working with the program, and I'm very privileged and very honored to work for the school system here in West Hartford and work with my program coordinators and developing trips that you would like to go on and to present the best educational and fun trips possible. So I wanted to go over uh, this schedule that we have coming up for the fall, uh, which are our trips coming up um, in November and December. It's already October, fall is, fall is upon us, and we'll have a lovely season with uh, great day trips for you. And uh, the first one that I'm gonna share with you is um, I'm, in, I'm known as the foodie lady. I work with the Continuing Get program to present trips uh, to go food shopping in New York City. I created a great one years ago called the Foodie Trip, New York Foodie Trip. And this is a second foodie trip that I created based on my love of New York shopping and food. And we are going to the Union Square Green Market on November 4th, which is a Saturday. And this trip is called Further Foodie Finds, which means this is an addendum to the New York foodie trip, the second one. And we visit the largest and best green market in the city, which is located at Union Square. And it's about a three or four block area with producers from all over, from six states, who come to the city several times a year. They have the best produce, the best meat, fishes. They have uh, amazing wine, honeys, uh, vegan food, um, really just spectacular selection of food for the cook. If you're a beginner cook, medium cook, an expert cook, uh, some of the top chefs in the city visit there to pick up their, uh, their meals for the day. And it is a, just a fabulous experience. There is a, a great selection of everything for you. So I give you some great tips on what you like to pick up that day, uh, things that are available that day. And I have a really great relationship with the farmers there and really uh, love to promote them and you know share information about good things that are coming up with them. So we go to this Union Square Green Market first, and then we go over to Little Italy in Chinatown, which is up the road. And what we do is we give you opportunity to shop in Little Italy on Grand Street, which is the old classic Italian neighborhood of New York. There are two stores, uh, which I call the bookends, called the Palos and the Levas on uh, Grand Street, which you can do all of your amazing Italian shopping and it is a place chock full of great imported Italian products. You have your olive oils, your balsamic vinegars, your risotto, your bread, your prepared uh, foods, uh, fresh and frozen ravioli prepared right in house. Uh, there's a wonderful bread, Italian bread, and also a wine store next door, which you can uh, add to your uh, repertoire of, uh, of meals. And it is a, just a great shop, and the folks who run it have been in the spot for about five generations, so they really know their food. They're in and out of Italy all the time. And this is a place which is truly special, and they have truly special products in this store. And the other store is Olivas, which has um, started out as a cheese shop, but has expanded to the other uh, Italian canned Italian tomatoes, pastas, um, cheeses galore. So between the two, you'll get all of your, you know, holiday uh, Italian food shopping done. Uh, for the Feast of the Seven Fishes, you can prepare for that greatly with these goods. Um, also, there is a great pasta shop um, called Piemonte, which you can buy fresh and frozen pasta in wonderful shapes and sizes made in, made in house. Uh, across the street is a wonderful cafe called Ferraris, which has uh, 
the first Italian cafe. It's an espresso bar, which has expanded, has wonderful desserts, pastries, coffee, um, panini sandwiches. You can have a bite to eat there. We also um, are very close to Chinatown, which is really encompasses the area. And you can buy your Asian goods there. There are some great restaurants there, which uh, you can go to have an experience with dim sum which is where the carts come out of the restaurants and you point at you know, whatever dish you want and you eat. So it's a great sensory experience. There's a wonderful Mayahana Buddhist temple where you can have some peaceful and serene time. And there is also a museum of the Chinese in America, which you may also visit there. But the, the proto stands are amazing. The fish and, fish and meat stands are um, all over, and I give you some great tips on places that you may visit that you will bring back and enjoy. So between those two days, um, they are just uh, wonderful, wonderful places to stop. So I hope you can come. We do have room right now with the Continuing Ed program. And on November 12th, we're visiting the Lower East Side Tenement Museum. The Lower East Side Tenement Museum is very close to Little Italy in Chinatown, and it is the old uh, garment district hit beginnings of America. There are still some great fabric shops there that have been in the family for several generations. The Lower East Side Tenement Museum is the only tenement museum in America, which is dedicated to the history of immigrants who have come to this country, which is a big issue these days. And it's great to visit uh, the family's uh, histories there and be taken on a tour of the museum. It was a really a great experience to initially find it. And also we've had varying tours throughout you know, the history of our, t our visiting. They have an Italian tour, a Jewish tour. Um, they have a sweatshop tour, which tells you about the um, immigrants' experience, their life there. They have um, an amazing tour of the neighborhood, which gives you a history of uh, what happened and when, how people lived, what they did, um, how they um, went about their lives. And it is really an important museum to visit to see. I've had folks on the trip who have had, you know, their immigrant ancestors come from the neighborhood, so they have stories also to tell. And also you may visit Katz's for their wonderful pastrami. And it is an amazing place, uh, classic New York institution, which is uh, fun to visit, and you'll have your, your great meal there. I also give you an idea of uh, some of the other places to visit. There is an Eldred Street Synagogue, uh, who you may visit, and they have a tour of. Uh, there are other sites nearby, which you may also visit. And I think you'll have a very enjoyable time, and you can come home with some smoked salmon from Russ and Daughters, uh, which is another you know, institution been around for maybe five generations. And um, it, it'll, be a great, it'll be a great day for you to, to spend with us. We have very, very much enjoyed this, this visit to the Lower East Side. And on Thanksgiving, we visit New York City again for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And what we do is we leave at what I say is a crazy early time in order to get situated uh, in a good position at the parade. They have over a million visitors. We uh, drop you off about a block from the parade route, make it very, very easy for you to just go and get situated uh, and enjoy the parade. We've had some great weather over the years on the days that we've gone. We had a great view of the marching bands, the celebrities, um, the costume characters to come by. They upgrade and update them every single year or so. There's always some new ones to enjoy. It's a really great family event. And I've had some great feedback from my previous passengers about how easy it was to do and how they uh, had it on their bucket list. And now it's not off, off their bucket list, which is you know very enriching and rewarding for me for folks to really enjoy it. So the parade runs about <clears throat> a few hours. So there's time to uh, to eat nearby and uh, just hop on the bus back. And uh, I like to say you can put your turkey in the oven, go to the trip and come back and have your dinner or do whatever visitation that you'd like to do at uh, the mid to late afternoon or later. So it's a really great trip, great trip. And I have people who come from far and wide for it. So we really do enjoy this particular trip for the program. 
uh, one more time to Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. So on um, December 2nd, on Saturday, uh, we do an annual uh, New York City Day on Your Own, which is sort of a holiday day on your own to uh, enjoy the city, to visit a museum, visit a friend, see the wonderful, spectacular lights um, of the city, how it's brightened up for the holidays, to see the uh, windows on Fifth Avenue and see how beautifully they're decorated and to really enjoy the holiday season. Uh, you may also see a Broadway show on this day and you may also see the Radio City Holiday Show. You can make plans to do that. And what we do on this particular day is we go uh, and come back later. So that will allow you to see a Broadway show on that day if you'd like to do a plan. And I give you a lot of great information on sites uh, and tours and culinary suggestions about uh, you know where you may where you may eat that day, uh, what sites you may say. Great up to date information. We have two stops on this trip. We have the Metropolitan Museum, which is on Fifth Avenue and Eightieth Street. We drop you off there, and so if you like to visit the museum, that's a great stop to be. And also we drop off at Rockefeller Center. So if you have something to do midtown. Um, that's a great stop to do. And then we have one pickup point on the way back at a very convenient place to Midtown. So they'll give you an opportunity to get in everything you like to do that day and come back in a central location. And um, it is a, a really enjoyable trip. It really is filling up fast. So I would suggest for anything for the holidays to really um, try to you know, register early for that. And I'll give you registration information at the end of the program. And on December 5th, uh, we do our, I think this is my 18th Radio City Holiday Show to New York City. And what we do is we leave early and the show is at 2 p.m. And we leave you off so that you can have a bite to eat for lunch uh, during, that, uh, during that time. And then meet up at the Radio City Music Hall and enjoy the show. So that will give you a chance to see the Christmas tree and see the windows and uh, you know greet whoever you'd like and just enjoy it and the show runs an hour and a half uninterrupted it is there is no admission uh, intermission in the trip uh, on this particular show and we leave right after I come home and we, we generally um, have a full bus um, for this and a waiting list so uh, again I encourage you for anything for holiday to go to the website and register or call the program um, and we're actually busy working right now in 2018. And one of the um, ideas that I have for a trip for next year is to visit a new borough for my trips, which has been a very hip and happening borough for a long time, which is Brooklyn. Um, I've done some personal trips to Brooklyn and I've also uh, taken folks to um, the Bronx for baseball trips. So I've visited a few other boroughs, but this is something totally new. I walked across the Brooklyn Bridge several years ago and really totally enjoyed it. And so I'll be offering in the spring or early summer a walk across the Brooklyn Bridge. And when you walk across the bridge, you see every man manner of humanity. You see the protesters, you see the charity walkers, you see the rollerbladers, the bicycle you know, folks, uh, the walkers. Um, it really is a great scene. It's a great, great bit of humanity really just, you know, gathering and, and converging and merging in one place and it's a lot of fun and the walk over the bridge is a little over a mile and when we get to Brooklyn there is a market that we'll be visiting called the DeKalb Market which recently opened and I would call it based on all information a really great foodie destination and the foodie stands in there are eclectic they're upscale and there's also a Katz's there which really piqued my interest because uh, this is the first outpost of Katz's outside of the Lower East Side. So that in itself to me is worth the trip. Um, and we'll be doing some sort of walking um, in Brooklyn or do a uh, on and off the bus tour. So I'm putting that together and I want to give you an advance notice of that in the spring because it really will be a fantastic trip, another borough. And we are also working on other trips for uh, continuing ahead, such as revisiting uh, Plymouth in the summertime for whale watch. We have had some very successful whale watches, some fantastic ones um, in, the, in the past uh, with Captain John's boats, and we'll be hiring them to 
take us on a whale watching tour in July. And in the summer, we'll be revisiting baseball parks, uh, notably Yankee Stadium for a Red Sox Yankee game. Uh, we attended one this year and it was fabulous. We had great seats and uh, everyone enjoyed the trip. And some of the bus was happy, some of that bus was not, but uh, it was a great trip nonetheless. And uh, we really enjoyed our, our trip to the stadium. Um, also wanted to mention that in March, on March 17th on St. Patrick's Day, We'll be visiting the Boston Flower Show. We took a break for a couple of years um, and we'll be visiting the uh, Flower Show this year. We'll, we'll have all the wonderful horticultural exhibits, uh, the seminars, and you'll be able to pick up some beautiful flowers and beautiful products um, out there. There's an extensive marketplace of um, garden goods and personal goods, wonderful soaps, oils, uh, vinegars, just really a, a nice eclectic view of that, and that will really strengthen your knowledge of horticulture. And uh, it will be fun. It is at the World Trade Center. It, and we will also have at that time, we'll also have time on your own in Boston so that you can do a little celebration of St. Patrick's Day. We'll be dropping you off in the Faneuil Hall area, which is the marketplace. Uh, there's North Market, South Market, and a great food hall, very close to the North End, which is near and dear to my heart, uh, where you may pick up some great pasta and visit some of the great shops along Hanover Street, and the restaurants also, which is a great visitable area. So we'll get you some really great information about where to go and what to do in Boston that day, and uh, it will be a nice little addendum to our program. So we also will be having um, in the summer and fall we'll have other trips such as the Newport Flower Show which we do on an annual basis. This year we'll be visiting the last Saturday of June and we'll be visiting um, at a really terrific time and it is at the Rosecliff Mansion on Bellevue Avenue and uh, we have a very nice um, very nice trip here. They do a very nice job with the Preservation Society every single year and we really very, very much enjoy it. So we'd like you to also come in on that. I do my New York foodie trip, my original one, um, in the late spring, early summer. And we'll also uh, be visiting Zay Bars on the Upper West Side on that trip. So that is, there's two different foodie trips for you to um, consider. And we also will have our uh, fall trips, we'll be going to Waterfire in Providence, which we just visited, which is a wonderful event, which the bonfires are lit along the river that converge in downtown Providence. We visit the Rhode Island School of Design Museum and also the Atwells Avenue, Little Italy area. That date is going to be determined. We'll communicate with you when it is available. And also uh, the first Saturday of June, I do my annual trip to the Metropolitan Museum in New York, which is one of the world's greatest art museums. Um, what we do is we give you time on your own. We have an admission and an audio guide so you can enjoy the galleries. Um, they were, there's just, just for an example, uh, there are 60,000 objects just in the Egyptian gallery that can take your day if you'd like. I share with you the highlights of the museum, of which there are many. And I encourage you to really um, enjoy this great museum. There's a great rooftop garden, which you may enjoy the beautiful uh, view of Central Park. Uh, the Metropolitan Museum is right in Central Park, so you have a chance to do a little, little strolling, a little shopping in the area, and I share culinary information with you about the area and what you, know, what you can also you know, pick up to take home. But it's just a fantastic museum with the Egyptian galleries, the Greek and Roman galleries, um, the European galleries, photography, modern art, uh, wonderful docent-led tours, which will give you a highlight um, of the museum, and also terrific special exhibits of uh, the particular eras. And they cover 5,000 years of history and it is just an amazing visit, and I hope you can come. Um, if you love museums, you will especially love this one, so please come. And I wanted to also share uh, the information from the Continuing Ed program about registration. Uh, you may call the registration line at 860-561-6900, or you may go um, online and create an account with the, with the system. Uh, the 
website is whlifelearn.org and you can go into course catalog and you can see all the trips we have coming up with continuing ed for the upcoming season. So we are all in a process of developing more trips. Uh, we are personally looking to do a uh, trip to the Metropolitan Opera in the fall of 2018. And we are also sharing that information with you with when we have the information available. So if you'd like to get information, get on the catalog listing, uh, you may stop in Town Hall to pick up the catalog. It's usually in the public area on the lobby area. Or you may go up to the room in room 419 to pick up the catalog. And it's constantly being worked on and constantly being updated and upgraded. So you can call the program. And they make it very, very easy for you to register. Uh, we do a lot of planning. We do a lot of work. And the, the program does a lot of really hard work to put this together for you. And also I wanted to say, um, I sometimes get feedback on my trips about trips that you would like to do. I get information all the time um, about things that you know you would like to visit. For instance, um, we are do we're going to do in the fall of 2018 a trip to the Culinary Institute of America along with the Vanderbilt Mansion, which has just been recently updated and upgraded. The entire mansion was redone and renovated. And we had a trip some years back to that uh, particular house. And is one of the most spectacular of the Vanderbilts, which is saying a lot. And uh, we'll be you know, coordinating that with the, the folks there at the National Park Service to give you the best possible, best possible visit. So please keep their, uh, your ideas coming. Um, I will give you my email in case you would like to contact me. It is toursbydesign at gmail.com, which is T-O-U-R-S-B-Y-D-E-S-I-G-N at gmail.com. I welcome your ideas. I welcome your feedback. And I also give you my cell number, which is 860-305-8762. Uh, call or text me on that line. Um, and please, you know, share um, any information. And I'm always um, in the planning stages of a trip. And it's something that I've uh, loved and enjoyed for many, many years and will continue to do with the program. So at, at that uh, point, um, I will say adieu. And uh, thank you very, very much for listening and look forward to an update next year for next year, we'll, which will be in my next program. We will have some specific dates in my next show. Uh, but in the meantime, you may contact me if you're looking to do any sort of on um long-range planning, you can certainly contact me about dates, and they will be uh, finalized and priced very soon. So please, um, you know, keep your ideas coming, keep do coming to all of our trips, and we especially enjoy taking you, and thank you, and uh, have a good day. Mm -hmm.